Oh, hey, I wonder what we're about to do. Uh, yep, we're about to fight Cooler, again. Now, actually, I do want to correct a statement of mine. I said that, or I implied that every single story mode that is on, uh, that character goes dynamic, they fight Cooler. Uh, I guess we're gonna fight Cooler with Krillin, so I guess that statement becomes kinda moot, but considering you fight him as Kid Gohan, Vegeta, Goku, Piccolo, Probably at least one more in there. Yeah, I'd say it does hold some weight, but yeah, I guess it's kind of a generalization. I can't sense Everyone anymore. minus Krillin, because yeah, I don't imagine Krillin actually being a but again, somehow Gohan does, so yeah, whatever. There's something coming this way. Yeah, hello. Jeez, he's just all over the place today. Oh man, this must be, this must be so weird for everyone who, who's sitting here watching these videos back to back and be like, huh. Cooler is all over the place right now. Subtle advertising for him in more games, potentially? What? This creature is even more powerful than Frieza. Not yet he isn't, but he will be. You must be Vegeta. My brother Frieza told me all about you and your little friend. I'm honestly impressed that Cooler actually came in touch with Frieza. You'd think they wouldn't, but alright. Can't be defensive here. Go figure. I love how the sheer amount overlap between all these story uh conditions. Luckily, oop, nope. Can't be defensive. Okay, got it. Luckily, my off-screen uh tomfoolery. I seem to have actually reacquired some of my muscle memory for Vegeta. So that's kind of cool. All right, pop super stand four. I've had like no qualms about uh, using. Oh, by the way, I am also playing this on very hard mode. Some of you might not believe me, but not. I really did. Uh. It might be more evident, like, when you see the XP I gain. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, this isn't really too hard. Luckily... Oh, shit. Hi. Had to get the second hit out in order to actually swap him away before he did anything to counterattack. Can I get him out? Uh, hit him to a dragon rush? Nope. Oh, shit. Oh, that's right. You can't do you can guard here. Eh, let's use hand four, but whatever. I have a key side of like 18, so it doesn't really matter too much. Alright, hang on. Uh, do, do, do. Ah. I could be tacking on some more damage to my combo, but eh, it doesn't matter too much. Okay. Oh, I could just tag him one more time and I win. Or two? Oh, yeah. The, the damage there might also indicate. That I'm on a slightly higher difficulty. Yeah, uh, 450 versus the usual 1K. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay, yeah, 28,000. Okay, cool stuff. Uh, I don't know what the hell else to go with Vegeta after I, like, get key up to the max though. It happens a lot. <laughs> God, I couldn't imagine uh, Cooler being strung up by the same tree as Frieza in, in that new hell he was in. That would be hilarious. Anyway, so that was it for that. Um, to the best of my knowledge, I don't think Vegeta has a what of a story. No, he doesn't have one for the Cell Saga, but he does have one for the Boo Saga. So, uh, guess what? I gotta beat. Oh God, I gotta beat um, Cell on very hard again. Pray for me, boys. So this took a little bit of uh, time to uh, get back up and running, but uh, we're ready to actually continue doing this because I had to play through the entire Cell Saga on very hard. And you remember how well that went the first time? Actually, to be fair, it wasn't too bad. I, I actually did manage to beat all of the opponents by first try. Uh, pretty impressive. Anyway, so uh, what we do from here is that this is after Majin Vegeta blew himself up and after Vegeta got revived. So what we need to do here, you saw me do this in a playthrough, is that uh, we need to head northeast to that uh, Arctic Island. I think it's called like, that was it called Drum Island or something? I don't, I don't actually remember what it is offhand. It's not Land of Iron, that's Naruto. <laughs> actually, Drum Island might actually be One Piece. Oopsie. So, this is stupid. Uh, Supreme Kai just randomly comes to Earth and was like, hey Vegeta, you know about that, you, you sense that one weird power besides Majin Buu? What, no. Oh, good thing about hopefully, hopefully it's just me. So that was ominous. Yeah, you see me do that accidentally in the playthrough. I had to restart from the Boo Saga. Oopsie. Uh, 
basically that opens up the route to go fighting um Broly after uh you, you end up beating up Super Boo inside of himself. So, uh I guess this is will be a time I can cut out, but I never actually did show off the full spirit sword. Or at least the spirit sword is successfully landing. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, max max HP, max max key. I'm currently investing into defense points, so I could stay alive a lot longer. So let's do this. Uh, let's see. Footsies with Vegito. It's still really weird, like seeing Vegito in fighters and just looking back on this and be like, man, he was a pretty honest character at one point in time. I say that, but seven key gauges, yeah. All right, let's see what we can uh, get away with. Oops, that was the wrong button. I actually want to press that. That's a fun combo ender. Oops. Jesus, that did a lot of damage. Fucking key. Ah, jeez, three ball attacks. So bullshit. Alright. I love hitboxes so much. Okay. I don't expect to win this, but if I can just, like, keep this going for a little bit, that would be nice. Alright. Ooh, two hits. Might actually be able to land this. Maybe. Kinda. There. Oh, damn. I actually got this land. And now we get to see Vegito's weird ass face. Seriously, the, the in-game model for him is so bizarre, I don't get it. What the hell? Alright. Also, I've gotten better at Vegito combos right now. He's actually not that hard. Uh, the trick is really just uh, pacing your combos out. You can't mash it out or anything. There's certain rhythms of them, you know what I mean? Oop. Ooh, throws out of it, okay. Alright, let's actually go for it, see if we can land it. Fucking throws. Aren't we ballsy? Okay. All right, gotta focus really hard for this one. Ooh, finally got to land. Also, this is gonna do like 12 trillion damage. I don't know why this does so much fucking damage, but it just does. Yeah, I don't think that'd be enough to nearly kill off Super Boo. So, eh. Again, this was literally only his attack for the longest time because it was super unique and it was like the one thing that he really did that was unique as hell, so... Wow, it has tracking, okay. Uh... Be careful. I will say though, this is still a nicely animated shot. Alright. Oh, fuck! I screwed up! Oh, god. I'm gonna eat... What was his name his last time? 2k? 3k? Although, I'm investing in my defense points, so... Might live this. Actually, I'm pretty sure I will, but this will still hurt like a motherfucker. I'm expecting 3,000. Maybe? Wow. 3,300? Are you fucking serious? I was lowballing it too. Or I was highballing it. Alright, let's play this a little more aggressively and uh, hopefully win. There we go. I don't really need to be showing this, I just kind of wanted to show off because Vegito is always fun to hell to play with. Like, regardless of incarnation most of the time, unless you're playing uh, fighters where his only redeeming quality is his auto combo. I say that as a former Vegito main. Backdash out of it, good response. The, Jesus, the tracking of these moves are so bizarre sometimes. I should just be able to easily get out of it, but nah. Also, oh yeah, that's right. If you get the fully charged uh, axe kick off uh, sometimes in various combos, you can actually uh, get them to stay in hits done as opposed to getting knocked down. So that's really nice. Yeah, if you need a really good damaging option with Vegito, just use Spirit Cannon. Really strong, uh, really strong move. Like, I think Galaga is doing 500 right now. It's doing 800. Ooh. One, two, three, oh, fuck. I was going for the, the launch combo. That's a land. Or not. Apparently he's got a little bit of buffed uh, key, sort of. There we go. Ah, that was tricky. Not egregiously hard, but it took a little bit of work. Jesus Christ, all these points. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, the whole reason I reset Vegito in the first place Vegito. Vegeta in the first place is because I wanted that one stat in, uh, what was it? The item increasing stat, uh, so I can put something else. 
namely so it's not just sitting there just being dumb. Anyway, so Super Boo inside. Uh, luckily, Super Saiyan 4 does pretty much rival Vegito, so it shouldn't be too hard. Eh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, r really like... He can't hit me with an ultimate in this form, so I don't have to worry about that too much, but like... It's really his running, his running attack and his uh, uh, three ball attack that are just annoying. Oh, I almost got that off. Stun? Nope. Ooh, Jesus! They're, they're tracking you that. Oh God, I'm doing no damage. I really just need to be playing the patient battle and trying to edge him out a bit more. Oh boy. If I get him to Dragon Rush, it's going to hurt like a motherfucker. Okay. <sighs> Fuck. I did. I messed up the, the combo, but whatever. Luckily, Final Shine will delete his health bar, though, so. Not the worst thing. Uh, it hit. Want to hit? I mean, the thing about beams of this game is that, like, even if you the opponent just blocks them, you still kind of win because, like, you still get chip damage. It pushes them out, and it's totally safe on blocks, so... I mean, from a distance, anyway. So, like, it's kind of a win-win scenario. Okay. I really gotta be careful now. Luckily, my key, my teleports only cost, like, two bars now. That's great. I can't kill him with a teleport, though. Shit. Oh, there we go. Nearly calm on an action. Nice. That's how it goes. Now level up. Hell yeah. Look at my guard cage. It's going way the hell up. This is awesome. Oof. Oof. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I couldn't ask for much better. Alright. Just gonna be careful about this because as soon as we get back outside, shit's gonna start happening. What's this? This ill energy. This could even be worse than Majin Buu. Bullshit. <laughs> it's just an edgy boy with some daddy problems. Literally, that's all Broly is. Just an edgy boy with daddy problems. So, you know, this is so fucking stupid too because Broly, like, Broly would have to get, like, two or three more Zenkai boosts in order to even match Majin Buu or Super Buu or Kid Buu. But I guess Goku's just like, nah, I got him. You're gonna say, see the same thing with, with Goku. He'll be like, Vegeta, you, uh, Vegeta's gonna go take care of Majin Buu. No the fuck he ain't. Unless he, he actually does have Super Saiyan 3, which... <sighs> Super Saiyan 3's not hard to obtain, so I could see it happening. Anyway, let me double check something really fast. Let me make sure we are on target. And that nothing fucky's gonna happen. Okay, cool. I believe we're on the right target. So, beefy boy Broly. I've not actually fought him. Well, no, we played as him, but we haven't fought him yet. God, I keep forgetting how tall he is. What the? He's a Saiyan. I thought we were the only ones left. Turles, Tarbol, Paragus. The list is ju just keeps going on and on. God damn it. Kakarot. Kakarot. You know, the stupid thing is that, okay, I mentioned that whole, like, little marathon of boy movies I did on Discord a while ago. The... Broly in the first movie at least has some like he does talk a lot so at least he has some flavor in that department but the second movie like he doesn't say anything at all except for like one line and that's it I noticed that you love to look up in the sky at your silly old planet on top of the you know the usual Kakarot shit so god I, I just hate how this is the second coming's version the bad version he does not recover automatically oh boy so, fighting Broly is tricky. Uh, <coughs> big beefy boy, of course. You probably gathered that. Oh god, I'm doing- how much damage am I doing? Nothing? Oh boy. Oh god, he's got max key gauges too, I just realized that. Oh god, never fought him on this difficulty before. Oh shit, okay. So, Bob's gonna be put through his paces today. Oh, I mean, as long as I take this one step at a time, it should be okay-ish. That's safe, generally. No. Nope. I mean, throw punishes work. If I were smart enough, I could probably option select uh, throw breaks, but I'm not nearly that good. 
I know I don't how to do that effectively. Ooh. Oh, I didn't know he could do that by itself. Okay. Really, like, the big blind spot to Broly is, like, right around here. This is where, like, if he tosses anything out, it's going to be a huge whiff. So, like, yeah, like, literally, like, this distance. Anything he does is going to be a huge whiff if he misses it. There's also that, which is hella telegraphed. It's just, like, if he does it while you're in the middle of an action, it's hard to react. It's hard to get out of the way. You get the size up animations everything. Although the slightly annoying thing about him is that uh, he does have that special, like, uh, uh, instant insta dodge uh, animation. So it's hard to gauge, like, if you're hitting him sometimes. All right, max damage. Fuck. <laughs> you're supposed to do back punch forward kick. I keep doing back punch kick. I keep missing the forward there. I mean, even then, like, the, ki the launch upwards isn't bad, but, like, it's just not as big of a combo as I would like. Let's go with this. Yeah, not bad. I think we do way better though. All right, let's see if I can't get a big bang attack actually. Oop. Okay. Jesus, that damage. Oh, I wonder if he has that uh, capsule that raises your attack as the match goes. He might. Is that one slap did like half my life points? Jesus, or half of the health bar. Ooh, I, oh no, I win. I got that. No, no, I <laughs> piss off. I know I won that exchange. I literally won that. Ex I'm gonna go back and actually compare them. Like I won that. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> eh, not the worst thing in the world. I mean, big boy Broly got big limbs, but like he also do big whips. So yeah, take for it will. I would much rather fight. Broly a day of the week than fucking Kid Buu on the highest difficulty, so there is that. He, it's really just like with Broly, you have to be careful of a lot of ranges. Luckily, this version doesn't have any crazy command grabs. I love how Vegeta beat the shit out of Broly, and then he was like, oh, right, the Saiyan of Legend. How can I forget that now? So, that wasn't it. I forgot there's more to this. Time for a break. What is this scrap of paper? <laughs> this is so much fun you're in Goku's story, but I do like it here too. Fuse with my dad and fight against us. We'll be waiting at the World Martial Arts Tournament from the Mystery Warrior. You couldn't have said the the other dude's name. That you kinda of just gave it away. How many how many sons do I have that would actually be able to do that? Oh shit. Is this the work of Kakarot's kid? Trunks involved too? And what is this talk of view? <laughs> Although this funnier gang Vegeta to do it. So, you remember a little movie called Fusion Reborn? You know how Janemba's not in this game? Actually, it's weird Janemba didn't make it into this game considering Fusion Reborn, Gogeta. Huh, weird. Also, the funny, funny thing, this is literally the very first game Gogeta appeared in since like... Well, there was Ultimate Battle 22. I can see for myself what we're up against. I'll do the stupid fusion, Kakarot. <laughs> this had to have been an excerpt from something. That's great. Now watch me closely. We need to perform these moves in perfect symmetry, like this. View, Jun, ha! I don't have much to contribute here because you probably know what this entails. What? You never said anything about doing some ridiculous dance. <laughs> Just get this over with, Kakarot. I'm not a fan of the sepia tone though, even like, this is supposed to portray like Vegeta thinking about what about it happening, even though like, they probably shouldn't have Gogeta show up. Oh yes, the one line he ever really, that people ever really use in the games. Every force you create has an echo. Your own bad energy will be your undoing. Just thinking about it infuriates me. Could Kakarot be behind this? In any case, I'm going to put a stop to it. <laughs> That'd be great, though, but nah, no dice. Anyway, uh, before we get too invested, there is multiple uh, things to do after. So this is a little chapter called the special chapter, I think. Uh, some people call it the Broly chapter. I think that's fucking stupid, so I'm calling it the special chapter because a lot of things happen. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. After fighting Broly, meet with Bulma just north of Baba's palace. Okay. So you could do the whole thing about just going to go fight 
go uh, as Gogeta right now. Oh god, it's gonna suck. I have to do that again. <laughs> That's gonna bring its own problems. But no, um, let's see. My notes, it's listed as thing somewhere around here. Because I know, like, as soon as you go fight, uh, go tanks, you're pretty much gonna end the game right there. So as a result, I'm gonna try to pace this out a little bit, see where the hell this woman is. Oh, damn it, where is that woman? Actually, no, where is Bulma? No, where's the Baba's Palace? Where I have a list of those. Hmm. Let me actually go check home first. Let's see. Let's see if she's there. Nope. Weird. Okay, I'm gonna need a minute before to figure this out. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna save the game just now, uh, and I'm gonna go to the World Tournament. If nothing happens after I do the Gogeta versus Go Tanks thing, I'm gonna reload and hunt down Bulma then. But yeah, I just can't find her in my notes easily. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll just do this first. See if it was a thing that was required. Hey, Vegeta. It looks like you're ready. Not so loud. Quick. Let's duck behind those bushes over there. What? Oh, I get it. Well, when you've got to go, you've got to go. Uh, no, I don't think you'd be bringing Goku along for that. Shut up. You think I'm going to let anyone see me dance around like a fool? Now come with me and hurry. Boy, what would transpire probably like, what, 10 years after this game came out? Oh yeah, the, the step sound effects actually are in the game. Here it is. <laughs> I love how fucking happy Goku is doing this though. God, he's so blonde. <laughs> oh boy. So, go Gogeta, yeah. Um, same story as with uh, Vegito. You gain a few new moves. Um, you retain like the base move set of whoever you fused with. So, like, if you fuse using Vegeta's the base, you're gonna have Vegeta's move set, as you can see with the stance. I think Go Tanks like has a more like unified uh, set, though. Weirdly. You're barely like you're not even 40 yet. Jesus. Okay. So, uh, this is gonna be nuts, because remember, I'm on very hard mode, and, uh, we're in a World Martial Arts Tournament Arena, uh, infinite timer equals infinite key, infinite key me equals infinite teleporting. This is gonna suck. Oh yeah, they're already in. This is actually weird, I remember they started in, um, what was it, I remember they started it at regular, or, uh, normal form, in a, a prior playthrough. Oh yeah, the thing that really sucks. Look at this. Yeah, this is happening. <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to be in hyper mode to do anything here. Uh, this is a mistake. And it finally happened. Okay, good. Finally, Jesus Christ. I'll be sh absolutely certain though that you do not get, uh... If you can help it, make sure you don't get hit by the end of the Dragon Rush, because Gotenks does have Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. And that sucks. A lot. However, this also means you have infinite access to Soul Punisher, which is fairly cool in my book. Oh, cool, I got it. Nice. This might be your only real way of doing damage, so, um... If you don't get caught in Teleport Wars, uh, try to do this whenever you can. Now, what's stupid is that I remember distinctly there is a... There's a version of Vanish where, like, you can just hold your attack and not swing afterwards. I don't know what it is, but, like, that would be the ideal way of doing this. Oh, cool. Although, I must say, Gogeta's model in this game is very nice to look at. Like, you can tell budget went into this fucking model of him. Alright, so. Also, I think he has a unique aura. Slightly unique. Ever so slightly. And anyway, not like it matters anyway, because... I think I'm about to get Gotenks to... No, nah, there it is. Okay. Almost got him down. That would be nice. Oh, wait. I should do this before the, the this expires. Expires. <laughs> Implying. Soul, soul Strike. Moves absolutely sick. Alright. I think it's armor on startup. I'm not sure about that. Uh, gotta be careful about the edge of the ring. There we go. Okay. You know, on normal difficulty, that is the coolest thing, but when you get to higher difficulties and you realize that, oh, we have infinite key, infinite teleports, oh boy. 
yeah, it kind of begins to lose that mystique and feel, so it just kind of kind of spirals out of control, if you know what I mean. It's not fun. I'm not too big a fan of it, honestly. You punk! If I'd just gotten a full night's sleep, I could have thrashed you. Let this be a lesson to you guys. If you want to beat Gogeta, you gotta be sure to get your full AI hours of sleep. Hey, don't start making excuses. You're beginning to sound like Hercules. Ooh, it stings. By the way, can I just say, I absolutely miss the orange and black vest that Gogeta had in Future Reborn. It was the best looking one. Best looking vest, I, I mean. Oh, that's the end of the story. So I, while I would very much like that to be the end of Vegeta's story, we have a... Th the following day, what? We have a thing to go do. Uh... Yeah, we're not done. All right, I'm gonna meet you guys back in story mode. We got some shit to wrap up. Hmm. Okay, guys, I have no idea what's going on here. I've circumnavig—I'm circumnavigating the map at least a full time by now. The most I managed to find is there's a small little cutscene with Go with you going to Goku's house to ask him about the note, and that's about it. Uh, I don't know what's going on. So, okay, here's just what's supposed to happen. Um. Let me pull my phone back up. It was... So, after finding Broly, you meet with Bulma just north of Baba's palace, then go to West City to get Super Saiyan 4, then go to Southeast Island's Marker to fight Super Saiyan 4 Goku. <gasps> yeah, I haven't seen any sign of Bulma whatsoever, and I'm scared this might be a one-time event, because, I mean, Super Saiyan 3 Goku against Majin Buu is also a one-time event, so... Uh... This sucks. I would much rather have had that ending, so unfortunate. I don't know. Um, I did get that one cutscene, so <sighs> this sucks. I'm gonna have to redo the fight against Gogeta or Gogeta with, with Gogeta against uh, Go Tanks. Uh, if nothing happens, I'll just cut recording. But yeah, I'll just I'll just report back if anything happens.